Welcome to Stationary HQ, where you design, we deliver. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to properly set up your PDF in accordance to our guidelines, which can be found here in our File Setup Guidelines page. For this tutorial, we'll use the A7 Foldover card. Go to the top menu, hover over Products, and select Folded Cards. From here, scroll down to the Folded Cards section and click on A7 Foldover card. By default, this product page displays the A7 foldover in the landscape orientation. For this tutorial, we'll be using the portrait orientation, so let's change this drop-down selection to portrait. The preview area now shows the artwork size to be 7.25 inches by 10.25 inches, trimming down to the final size of 7 inches by 10 inches. We will need to keep this in mind while we finalize our artwork file for print. Our next example uses Adobe Illustrator. As with the Photoshop example, let's make sure our file is as print-ready as possible first. To check if we have the right dimensions, go to the side navigation bar and click on the Artboard tool. The Properties tab now appears on the right side of the screen, updated with the Artboard dimensions. There we can see that the dimensions are 10.25 inches in width and 7.25 inches in height, which would trim down to a final size of 10 inches by 7 inches. This then folds to 5 inches by 7 inches. This is exactly what we want. Next, as you can see in the Layers tab, we have one layer with five sublayers, two of which contain type. To help ensure that the text is printed exactly as we want it, click on either the text itself or on the selection radial. Then go to the top navigation bar, click Type, and Create Outlines. We'll do the same with the other type layer. Quick reminder that when you're using an image in your file, make sure to use a high quality image of at least 300 pixels per inch. Our file looks good to go, so let's save it as a PDF. Go to the navigation bar, select File, and Save As. Navigate to where you'd like to save your PDF. Once you're in your desired folder, select Adobe PDF in the drop-down menu. Click Save. The Save Adobe PDF dialog box appears where we can specify our desired PDF settings. We want to select the PDFX 1A preset. All other settings look good, so we'll click Save PDF. A dialog box may appear with a warning about editing features being disabled when saving as PDFX. Since the sole purpose of this file is for print, this is fine. Click OK. From there, let's upload the file onto the Stationary HQ website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing Stationary HQ.